I'm Michelle Evans and I teach grade six at Canadian Martyr School in Kitchener, Ontario. This is my second year with the Coding Quest program. Honestly, I didn't know anything about coding. I didn't know what it was. We had an email that went around saying, is anyone interested in doing this? And I said, okay, I'll give it a try. This is something that a lot of teachers aren't comfortable with. So by having first somebody coming in and kind of supporting the teacher as the kids learn, but also that we can move forward in these skills that maybe we didn't learn, but we still need to make sure that we expose our, our students to. One of the things that the teachers learn very quickly is they don't have to be the experts in coding in order for this to be successful in their classrooms. Um, we have teachers that um, have told me that their kids are, are much more uh, advanced in terms of coding than they are, and, and the, the teacher's role is providing the opportunity for them. So at first I thought that you can only make like one big long coding block to make a game but it doesn't take like zeros and ones there are lots of typing and stuff i really like it because it's so easy and like there's like lots of different ways you can code it's so easy to learn and like get used to it if you want to create a game and if you want to get creative then this is definitely the place to go i've learned that anyone can create a game it's fun because you just get that happy feeling when you've completed a game and once you're finally finished. I would recommend it to almost everyone. What I like so far about this program, it's super easy and fun to learn. Other kids should try it because you always learn something new. I would recommend this because you have an opportunity to create the style of the game or story you want. And trying something new is good. They're developing these skills that are just, you know, this is where their jobs are gonna take them. They need to be problem solvers. And this helps them problem solve. The teamwork and the collaboration is incredible because they, they know who the experts are and they're not afraid to ask for the help. So rather than always just raising their hand and waiting for me as the teacher, they're learning to go to each other. And I truly believe that I'm preparing kids for jobs that don't exist yet. And they're going to be creating these jobs. They're gonna go out and find out what do I need to fix or what do I need to solve? And then they have to build those skills to then move forward to build their own life in the future. We're at uh, Wilfrid Laurier University at the Bricker Building um, for Coding Arcade. I think it's a great opportunity for kids to showcase the work that they've done, what they've learned, and to have other people other than their friends playing their games. And I think that's it's a great, just such a great opportunity. And to see what other kids are doing too. I was really impressed by just the variety because we had clickers, we had top-down shooters, we had quizzes, we had like mini game, was just kind of blown away by how inventive the kids were. Obviously coding is becoming a bigger part of every job and through a fun way of learning it, through gaming, it makes it more accessible. When they're working in the coding world, uh, if something doesn't work, they try again. So they've been able to transfer that to other skills in math or reading or writing that they know that if they keep persevering that the solution will come. It's amazing to not have to be the expert in the room, um, which is one of the, the best things. They become experts and they teach the teacher.